Welcome everyone to Sonoma for the Ser Cup Series Season 2 Race 6. We have two races to go for the playoffs and let's see who makes his way. And I'm with McMahon as always. Welcome McMahon. Thank you, that is me. I am McMahon. So we're at Sonoma today. Uh, this is a very famous track, one of the best road courses on the schedule, obviously being one of probably the only one in this series on the schedule. So anyway, on the right we have our playoff bubble. We can see Austin Dillon is three points to the good, Jamie McMurray three points to the bad, Tyler Reddick seven points to the bad. So we have some pretty big names on the cut line, and we're going to see where, how like, good they can do today, if anyone can punch their ticket into the playoffs. Today is gonna be an 8 laps race, 37 drivers, it's the first race at Sonoma and as you can see in the rookie standings Christopher Bell is leading uh, ahead of Tyler Reddick who is 3 points back. Yes, Christopher Bell is now driving the 8 car, apparently. Yes, that's... they got it wrong. And this race is sponsored by CST31 Racing Network. So some silly season news you saw there. It looks like we're going to probably go to the the Let's Go track side for the command. With Rodco Racing. Drivers, start your engines. Cars are rolling off. Uh, we're going to go right to the starting lineup and after that start the race. So in row one we have Kyle Larson and Chase Elliott both Hendrick teammates. Starting third, Kurt Busch, and starting fourth, Kevin Harvick. Fifth will be Ryan Blaney, and sixth, Kozlowski, both of them Penske teammates. Starting in seventh, high up in the field, Ryan Priest and Jamie McMurray, eighth. Starting ninth, Denny Hamlin, and Kyle Busch, tenth. We have a lot of teammates in the same row today, starting eleventh, William Byron, and Jimmy Johnson, twelfth. Not the same here. Martin Truex Jr. 13th, Joey Logano 14th. Starting 15th, high up in the field for Corey LaJoy, and 16th, Alex Bowman. Row 9, we have Clint Boyer and Christopher Bell. I thought he drove the 8 car though. So, in row 10, we have Matt Kenseth and Ryan Newman. Row 11, Austin Dillon and Daniel Suarez. Row 12, John Hunter Nemechek and Cole Custer, both rookies. Row 13, we have Eric Jones and Daniel Hemrick. Row 14, Eric Almirola and Ross Chastain. Starting, uh, if my calculations are right, 29th, Matt Benedetto and 30th, Tyler Reddick. 31st, Ricky Stenhouse Jr. and 32nd, Chris Buescher. Starting 33rd, we have Bubba Wallace slash Daryl Wallace Jr. and Ty Dillon, 34th. My, Michael McDowell and that Love's Car starting next to Parker Kligerman. And finally, somehow in last, Timmy Hill. Great flag here at Sonoma and Kyle Larson leads the field. Chase Elliott go, gets to his inside and now he they are side by side. A flyby of the field right there. Looks like Chase Elliott to the inside of Kyle Larson is going to take the lead away as I don't know what turn they're in, but there is looks like they're coming up on the end of the first lap through the final corner. Chase Elliott's going to be leading at the end of the first lap. And as you can see, they're using the odd configuration here, right there. And Chase Elliott now is pulling away. I don't know anything about configurations, but he's probably right about that. As you can see, Blaney making some moves in the mid middle of the pack, uh, trying to get by Kevin Harvick now. Kurt Busch makes a bump on Kyle Larson, and now he's to his outside, and he gets second on the lap. Kyle Larson started on the pole and he's fallen back to third, still fighting for second place as he goes a little wide and it looks like gets a little loose and Kozlowski and McMurray are spinning. Kozlowski looks like he'll get it fired back up along with McMurray, so they're going to both be fine, just lose some spots. And now the fight with Larson and Kurt Busch continues. 
and another another bump on the same la uh, on the same turn, and now Ryan Blaney passes Kyle Larson. Now Kyle Larson is back to fourth. Now Kevin Harvick up to fifth. It looks like he's going to go by Larson as we see some green flag pit stops. Uh, Eric Jones, Michael McDowell, and some of the people in the back. It looks like they're using strategy to pit. And now Kyle Larson trying to move up and to pass Kevin Harvick, but Kevin Harvick gets to his inside and takes the position. And now stage, it's the end of the stage and Chase Elliott wins this one easily. And Kyle Larson falls back from the lead to sixth. He was losing a lot of positions. He got stuck in that outside lane and just uh, couldn't get the inside lane back. But Chase Elliott has the lead now. The road course mace master is leading the race. And oh, William Byron spins and gets the inside wall. Ryan Newman spins William Byron. It looks like I'm not entirely sure what happened there, but William Byron's going to be out of the race. Here we can see a replay and see what happened. It looks like uh, it kind of looks like a mix of Byron pulled down and Newman went up. I'm not entirely sure though. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, you'd probably know, but, uh, yeah. Yeah, and now pit stops here at Sonoma. So, here we're going to see the, all the leaders come in and pit. We're going to see how the strategy worked for those in the middle of the pack who came in on the green flag, but Chase Elliott, you can see him taking right side tires. Likely going to be a four tire stop. It looks like it will be. As we can see, his LME stock photo pit crew. And Kurt Bush exits pit road in front of Chase Elliott. Kurt Bush taking the lead on pit road. Chase Elliott loses a spot. And Logano gains four. Jamie McMurray is still in ninth. But he's gonna move up some position. And as you can see, Eric Jones, Tyler Reddick, McDowell, Di Benedetto, and Ty Dillon, who pit earlier in the race, uh, are now leading because they didn't pit now. So now Eric Jones and Tyler Reddick on the front row. There are gonna be two laps to go. Tyler Reddick on the outside. It looks like he's taking the lead from Jones, and he does so. And already in the race, and Kurt Busch spins on the back, but we stay green here. Staying green, it looks like Kurt Busch, um, oh, Tyler Reddick spinning, a hard crash into the outside wall, knocking down one of the billboards, it looks like, and Matt DiBenedetto involved. Yeah, the Northwest billboard fell down. Oh, well, I guess he'll get a bit more attention with that, so, uh, go subscribe to Northwest. So anyway, here's a replay of what happened with Kurt Busch. It looks like he got sent into the tire barrier by the 34. Uh, yeah. He got some fresh tires and was making gains, and then McDowell didn't like that very much. And here, uh, Eric Jones overdrove the corner and got into Tyler Reddick, who went hard into the wall. Yeah, very hard hit by Tyler Reddick. I don't think that he's going to be continuing this race. Yeah, it would be surprising. And Matt Divedetto had nowhere to go. That was a hard hit. I hope he's okay. Yeah, hard hit for both of those drivers. So those two will both be out of the race. As you can see, Tyler Reddick climbing out and uh, throwing his helmet at Eric Jones. I don't think he's happy. Because... Tyler Reddick and Eric Jones are out of the playoffs as of now. And you saw the tow truck pull back the billboards. Yeah. And green flag here again, two laps to go, green white checkered, and Chase Elliott is still leading this race. Chase Elliott gets the lead after that caution, and I don't know what's happening because my screen's lagging very bad, but it looks like he still has the lead. Yeah, there's a little flyby of the field, and now Joey Logano is right behind of Chase Elliott, and he's going to his inside. He's crossing over, and a white flag here, sponsored by Nobody. 
Yeah, I can sponsor that if you want. Joey Logano to the inside. It looks like they're going to make contact. Kyle Big Busch hoping Greg. that it happens and it does work out for him. He's going to get by both of them. Kyle Busch and then Martin Truex Jr. takes the lead. Trek Jr. is now leading the race. Kyle Busch is in second. He bumps Martin Trek Jr. And Kyle Busch is going to win here at Sonoma. I knew Kyle Busch was going to win that once I saw him in third. The top two battled it out and wrecked each other. And Kyle Busch took advantage. That was a very crazy finish. There. And Timmy Hill here. <laughs> And Joey Logano here, right? He didn't finish this race, so let's see a replay of what happened. So you can see uh, bumping one another, and then not sure exactly what happened. It looks like Chase Elliott didn't have any room and tried to come back up the racetrack and spun Joey Logano. And then Chase Elliott was slow after that. Joey Logano squeezed Chase Elliott on the outside, so he had nowhere to go. And yeah. Kyle Busch in third. That's them. Oh, he almost almost got collected in the wreck. Yeah, he threaded the needle right through him. And then Martin Truex got bumped for that win. So Kyle yeah. Busch is going to burn it down and celebrate his victory. And he's now in the playoffs. Wasn't he like in the 30s in points? Um, I don't think he was in the top 16, I believe. He had a rough start of the season, but then moved up. He finished second last race, right uh, behind his brother, Carl Bush. Well, let's just say I was right. Yeah, he wasn't like he was doing bad, but now he wins the race and punches his ticket into the playoffs. Congratulations to Brian Vlogs18 for the win, and as you can see, Jamie McMurray finished. Third. How convenient. I told you that. Michael McDowell finishes sec sixth. Good run for him. And uh, Timmy Hill, 33rd, sponsored by McMahon. Yeah, you all should go subscribe to that guy. Uh, Timmy Hill, obviously not McMahon. <laughs> and now, Kai Bush is locked in. And Jamie McMurray is now 14th in the standings and Suarez is now the first out so you can see uh, with six races into the season we have six different winners including Ty Dillon and Christopher Bell both underdogs but you can see uh, no we don't need to mention whoever's last in points <laughs> And Johnson Reddick are out, as you, as I told you, told you earlier. But there's still one race to go at Darlington. Northwest will be commenting with us, and with Macman as always, right? Yep. Okay, so thank you all for watching. See you next time for Darlington, the Southern 500, the throwback race. And you can see Mechman in the billboards right there with California Cup Series with his old logo and Upper Groove Racing with his old logo as well. Yeah, the old but good logos. Yeah. I'm gonna probably change it back soon enough. It still exists. And there's also the Sair Cup Series logo, the series that we're racing right now. Well, we were racing. So thank you all for watching and see you next time, McMahon and everyone. Nobody's gonna see me, but you will hear me next time. Yeah. Bye. Goodbye, everybody. Thanks for watching.